All right, so when we look at the price elasticity of demand on graphs, okay, there's a couple of different graphs that you can draw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom of the demand curve. Remember, when we looked at our price elasticity of demand, right at the bottom of the demand curve, we said EP is equal to zero. And we said that that was called perfectly inelastic. Okay. Now, if you had to draw a perfectly inelastic demand curve, it is a vertical line. Okay, there's your price, there's your quantity. Right. Now, what does that mean? How do we read the perfectly inelastic demand curve? It means if price is 10 Rand for the product, and at 10 Rand for this product, we've got a quantity demanded of 10,000 units per month. Okay. And the price suddenly jumps up to 25 Rand, whatever percentage that is. We can see that quantity demanded remains at 10,000 units. So what has happened? Price has increased by X percentage. Quantity demanded has decreased by zero percentage. It is completely independent of the price change. Okay. So like we said, no... Um, products that would exhibit this, um, but the closest example would be your chronic medication. All right. But even up to a point, if prices had to continue to increase to a thousand rand a box for your chronic medication pills, eventually there would be a quantity demanded change. So this again is a theoretical type concept. All right. Then the next one we're going to look at is when we had somewhere between zero and one okay we were looking at so make a note chart this is perfectly inelastic the next one that we look at is just inelastic now, when we're looking at an inelastic demand curve, inelastic is when your quantity demanded changes by a lesser amount than price. Okay? So, <clears throat> price and quantity. An inelastic demand curve is very steep. Okay? It's not quite vertical as our perfectly inelastic curve, but it is very, very steep. Now, if you had to take two points on that curve, You had P0, P1, Q0, Q1. Look at the change in price versus the change in quantity demanded. You can see there that price has obviously changed by a greater amount than quantity demanded. Okay. And that would be for your necessity product. All right, the third type of elasticity that we looked at was at the midpoint. We said that was unit elastic. Now remember, unit elastic is when the price and quantity change by the same amount. So to draw your unit elastic demand curve, you would have a 45 degree angle. Okay? 45 degree angle... At the 45 degree angle, if you've drawn it better than I have, you will see that your quantity demanded changes by the same amount that price changes by. All right, that is what we call unit elastic. Your elastic demand curve, <clears throat> we said was between infinity and one. Your elastic demand curve is when your quantity demanded changes by more than your price does. And that would be a very flat demand curve. 
if you had to take two different points here, we can see that the price change is now much smaller than the change in quantity demanded. And then your other extreme would be your perfectly elastic demand curve, which would be a horizontal line. Now, what this means is, at that price of whatever it is, 10 Rand, this firm can produce and sell an infinite quantity. They can sell as much as they can possibly produce at that price of 10 Rand. Okay. If, however, <clears throat> they increase the price of the product to 10 Rand and 2 cents, okay? quantity demanded will drop off completely all the way to zero. All right. And if they decrease their price, <clears throat> well, we assume that they wouldn't decrease their price because we've said that they can already sell an infinite quantity at the price of 10 Rand. Okay. So there is no incentive for them to decrease the price because all they will do is decrease their total revenue. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you're battling to understand this one, you've just got to think of it as an extreme case of this, okay? So, as your curve becomes flatter and flatter, all right, this change in price would have a far greater change in quantity. Does that make sense? Until, obviously, we get to this, which is the extreme case, okay? perfectly elastic demand curve, horizontal. And you need to remember that because we're going to see it later on in perfect competition. All right. 